And what's up guys? <laughs> it's your favorite homeless guy here. So I decided to try a different setup. I don't know how this kind of looks. You know, if you guys have any ideas, tell me what you think about this new setup. But yeah, um, it's been a while. I felt like I was kind of just neglecting my channel. <laughs> so I figured I'll give you guys a sort of pseudo update. So where has Dilo been? Where has Obina been? Where has Man I Hate Swap been? For those of you who've been here long enough, you know that reference. Um, basically, I've been working. Uh, I think the last video I uploaded, I told you guys I was doing a Binance Masterclass thingy. Now I'm kind of done with it. And surprisingly, someone decided to employ me. <laughs> so I just thought, I figured like maybe a few months after, I'll just kind of make a YouTube video of how I essentially went from not knowing how to print Hello World <laughs> to actually becoming a blockchain developer. So uh, maybe this video will kind of help a few of you guys. Maybe this will kind of streamline the whole process of getting here. But um, uh, yeah, let's do it. So um, initially what happened was I was in Nigeria. I was in lockdown. I didn't really know what to do in my life anymore because I just graduated from Masters with first. And in pure UK fashion, nobody still wanted to employ me. <laughs> so I figured um, now that I'm in Nigeria, I'm not really doing anything. I might as well just sit down on my computer and learn some stuff. Initially, I started learning SQL for like data analytics because I thought because that I could go into business intelligence or something like that. But uh, I guess later on, I got bored of it. Then I discovered this guy, um, Charles Hodgkinson. He was a TED Talk. I was watching it randomly. Um, YouTube recommended it for me. Thank you, algorithm. So... Um, Charles Hodgkinson said something about like creating a financial operating system to kind of bridge the gap between um, first world countries and third world countries. I think maybe I'm like plagiarizing his TED talk with like his more newer like um, talks. But I think that's essentially what he said. And also I watched another TED talk called, I believe it was titled At the Speed of Money. And... I figured, you know, I was always interested in like cryptocurrencies from the 2017 bubble like anyone else. Keep in mind, this was the pandemic when I actually like started. Oh shit, I should say that. Bear in mind, this was like during the whole lockdown thing. This was when I kind of started my journey. So during that, I, I watched that speed of money and then I got really interested in, in like how the government prints money to <laughs> kind of like spoil the economy quantitative evening so i got like really interested in and i was like huh, this cryptocurrency like blockchain thing seems like the next thing and i couldn't understand anything that anyone was saying i tried reading the bitcoin white paper i couldn't understand it so i was just like if i'm going to learn a bit more because i i don't call myself as someone that is lucky so i was like i'm not gonna waste my time putting like all my money into cryptocurrencies and hoping that something happens by chance i become a millionaire so i was like i think it makes way more sense if i like bank on this technology instead so I like so I'll, i figured okay i need to understand what these people are talking about so i need to learn programming <laughs> and then this takes me to like step one of how i learned i basically signed up to the cs50 course because in initially, I would do like um, Python for data science people and all that stuff. This was after I finished my SQL course. And I just kind of hated it. <laughs> okay, not that I hated it. I had fun. But it felt like I was just um, essentially cramming someone else's code to redo. So I was like, I don't really like this. I want to know how to like build my own code from the ground up. Like if someone tells me to do something without anything else, I can just like type it up from the ground up so that's when i was like okay let's do cs50 introduction to computer science i think cs50 took me about two months and then at some points uh okay no it didn't take me two months it took me like a month a month then i was just like okay i've learned c <laughs> i know how to like solve problems we could then like further down you get in CS50, you now start doing like things with Python and things with JavaScript. And I was like, I'm not really sure if I want to learn Python or JavaScript. Essentially because he said that there are most of the problem sets. It's the exact same thing as what they gave in C, just like learn how to do it in Python and JavaScript. So I was like, that would be a massive waste of my time. Mm -hmm. Especially if I'm not going to use these frameworks. So I started Googling, I was like, 
what's the fastest framework to learn? Because keep in mind, I started this because I wanted to learn blockchain. So like, what's the fastest framework I can learn so I can like do all that and then start learning um, blockchain? That's when I came across Flutter. <laughs> so I bought this course on Udemy. I'll kind of put it up somewhere here. And I was like, okay, let me learn Flutter. So after a bit, I think I did this for like a few months. <laughs> I'm saying a few months. I'm not giving any timeline because I'm too lazy to do that. You're over here, you know, we're not high quality. So that's when I found this Flutter course and I was like, okay, let me try this. <laughs> and then I, I did it for like four months. I was building my um, random side project while I was also doing the course just to make sure I actually understand what I'm learning. And then I guess after this, or I did actually get to finish the course by the way, which is something very funny. <laughs> I was like, I, I went like 73% of the way through the course. And then Binance like randomly, luckily, sent me an email that I like, look, we're doing this African developer masterclass. Do you want to take part in it? I was like, sure. I started this whole coding journey for, um, <laughs> for blockchain. So I might as well do it. So I joined, luckily they accepted me. Um, we learned how to like pro how to like um, code in solidity for about eight weeks. Keep in mind, I'm doing my PhD by the way, but let's not talk let's not talk about that, which has nothing to do with coding. But I learned solidity, and then a week after we finished this, which was like in uh, what month are we in? In uh, May this year a week after i finished it i saw one random um one random job listing for a flutter developer and in my head i was like okay i've been programming for about a year straight <laughs> let me see how bad i am so i can improve or like in terms of getting the whole job thing because by the way i want to drop out of my phd <laughs> so that's when i just applied to this job for fun absolute fun somehow with my GitHub link and everything, I go and interview with the CEO and the CTO. It's a startup, by the way. And then they were like, okay, so what do you know? They saw my Binance Masterclass thing. They thought it was really interesting. They asked me, do I know much about working with APIs? I told them I know zero about working with APIs, but I'm willing to learn. <laughs> and they were like, sure. Two hours after that interview, they called me back and they were like, oh, they really enjoyed having an interview with me. Like, they want some they would like to talk to me about a contract and that's how i currently became a blockchain developer <laughs> so uh i don't know this video is probably all over the place with where i'm recording it but i guess if if you're someone who is like trying to learn how to code i would advise you to not <laughs> jump about like me obviously it's really important to learn the basics of coding which is why i would advise anyone who wants to learn how to code to first before you do anything else Everyone wants to learn machine learning or um, artificial intelligence. Before you do that, <laughs> start doing CS50. You don't have to finish it. Just do it all up to like week four of CS50. And then after that, you need to ask yourself, which framework do you want to use? Is it React Native? Is it Flutter? Is it um, Django, I guess? From that framework, you tell yourself, okay, this is what I'm going to do for the next year or how many months you're doing this for and don't change i know when i first started like developing with flutter it was really nice really enjoyable but i kept on asking myself did i make a mistake with the framework i chose because most jobs out there are javascript jobs or python jobs not really much are like flutter dev jobs but i just decided okay coding is not really my main thing anyway i'm doing business so i might as well just to, I might as well just do it for the rest of this year and see what happens. And yeah, I was lucky enough to get a job. So now I went from, hey, what's up, guys? It's your homeless guy here to, hey, what's up, guys? It's your favorite blockchain developer, I hope, maybe. <laughs> and I guess that's the end of the video. Tell me what you thought about it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later.